it's not going to get there. Um, so you, uh, they don't just uh, uh, use ayahuasca in isolation when they are preparing to become shamans. There's also uh, the dieta, and they, you have to, to uh, communicate with all kinds of plants and the animal spirits. And the spirits that dwell in the forest, they are called uh, the yushin. And, uh, and during this, this preparation time, you get to, uh, to learn how to speak their language and to, to engage in conversation with them. And then there, there are the yushibu, which is another uh, level of spirits. They are the ones that come from the enchanted place. And he was even talking about a, a, another, even another one. Kushipa. Kushipa. Yeah, Kushipa. Yeah, which which is like the, God. Uh, yeah, the, the, the great spirits. It's the greatest of the great spirits. É, o Nikun acredita que toda a criação é a base que é criador do universo que deu, deu esse poder da, da vida do, de nós, né, da vida humana e da vida dos encantados. Então, uh -huh. Yushiba, Yushiba, would be the responsible for all creation and that, the one that gave life to uh, all of us and all the enchanted world and, and everything. Mm -hmm. okay. no, and the interesting thing is that you can find Yushin not only in the forest and in the animals, but you can find Yushin on a headdress and you can find Yushin on a maraca, on a rattle. A rattle. On a rattle. So other things also have this contain this, this particular the type of, of spirits, spirits. Yeah, yes. even human beings. Yes, and they have they have their they have agency, like they're able to act. They're either extensions of people or they have their own possibility of uh, creating and interacting with the Hunnic culture. Então é para para se tornar pajé ou o homem da medicina precisa passar por tudo isso e e outros mais, né? Isso só um Pequenos, uh, pequenos detalhes. Mas, to, to uh, become, in order to become a shaman, you have to go through all this ordeal. Uh, uh, essa é a tua parte? Essa é a tua parte. Esse é o nosso cacique da tribo, hoje atual. Há uh, 20 anos ele luta, pro, luta pelo movimento, pelo seu povo, pelo povo Kaxinawa. Uh, os Kaxinawa dividem em várias uh, áreas o território reserva indígena do estado do Acre que pega um pouco do Peru um pouco do Brasil. So this uh, is his father. He is the chief of the Kashinawa, the Huni Queen. He has been fighting for 20 years for his people, for the, the indigenous rights in, uh, uh, in the territories. They have different. Uh, they are spread all over through different uh, indigenous reserves and ter territories uh, all through the, the rivers that uh, flow in that region. Uh, esse é o meu pai, uh, my father. Uh, mas ele é o cacique uh, hoje ainda. Uh, cacique é passado por várias gerações, mas ele ainda está lutando e continua lutando para. Ele já passou por vários movimentos. Eu fiquei feliz que uma amiga que conheceu meu pai há muito tempo atrás que hoje é várias lutas trans, mas é essas pessoas que que estão aí estão continuam lutando para os seus é, para os seus movimentos. Ele tem um grande respeito por seu pai, que é um lutador e ele já foi um chefe por tanto tempo e ele já foi levado a muito. Mas ele também disse que ele está muito feliz de conhecer alguém que está aqui, que é a Denise, que eu quero apresentar para você. She's from Brazil and she made an amazing documentary called Children of the Amazon. For all of you who are interested in knowing more what's, uh, what's going on in the jungle uh, as far as the Western civilization and, and the indigenous people are concerned, I recommend you all to, to uh, see if you can uh, watch her documentary. And uh, Denise personally met uh, his father earlier in the 80s. Was it in the 80s? Yeah. Yeah. And, and he has gone through a lot. I mean, uh, Especially in the 70s and 80s, the Kashinawa people have gone, uh, they, they had to deal with a lot of trouble. Bom, aqui são várias imagens que uh, eu queria poder passar, mas eu acho que eu, vocês estão ficando um pouco meio cansados. This is uh, Esse sou eu na minha comunidade. Né? Uh, estou demonstrando como preparar a ayahuasca, mas não é, não é um outro jeito de preparar isso. Toma demonstração para quem para pessoas conhecerem um pouco o que, que, que eu trabalho 
So this is a uh, uh, Yawa Bunny in the forest uh, doing kind of a workshop to, to teach, uh, to show the people a demonstration of how uh, one of the different ways of preparing the brew. So, stories with two sons of boya and a medicine. Yeah, do you want to talk about the Todos elementos. Uh, yeah. Terra, floresta, yeah, sol, mel. Yeah, this is a Kenyan brand. <coughs> This is a drawing of, of the, 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 the ayahuasca myth. It's done by, by Bunny's uh, brother, older brother. He's a really good, art. he's a really beautiful artist. That's another one too. And you can see the Kenny drawings inside the big snake. And... Pode, pode passar. Yeah. Ah, então, quer falar do rapé primeiro? Pode, de outro. Não, acho que agora pode ser do rapé. Então, uh... Para nós, assim, tem várias, várias medicinas, é, inclusive a gente trouxe alguma demonstração do rapé, é, que muitos povos indígenas, principalmente na, na Amazônia ou no Brasil, é, acho que nem todos, mas alguns povos é, originários, tradicionais, como Caxinauá, como Jawanauá, como Catuquina, Culina, Nukini, Uyanawa, é, usam os, da, é, é, os 15 pelo menos usam medicina do, do rapé que é feito de tabaco e cinza da árvore sagrada que tem na nossa mata. So uh, they they do, uh, they they do not only use ayahuasca as a sacred medicine, but there are uh, at least 15 different uh, uh, ethnicities of indigenous peoples in the Amazon that use uh, the rapé as well. Rapé is a, a, a snuff made of uh, tobacco and uh, ashes from certain safe, sacred plants that grow in the Amazon forest? É, é usado muitos, né? principalmente os, os Janomami, tem o Pariká, mas é, você é, conectar com outros espíritos de uma outra dimensão, muitos deles eles chegam a é, fazer passagem para outro, outro mundo, depois eles voltam para esse mundo. Para os Caxinauá não, para os Caxinauá há mais conexão com, com a mente e também é, sentir a conexão com a, a terra. So, uh, there are some ethnicities that use uh, some kinds of rapé that I have, uh, uh, that take you to the enchanted place and, and uh, put you in touch with the spirits. That's not the Caxinauá, the only Queen tradition. They use the rapé, uh, their rapé is different, it's not a, a hallucinogenic substance, in it, but it, it gave you, it's used to get you in touch with uh, your mind and with the earth at the same time. So it connects, it's used as a source of connection, and they use it very often, they use it with many ayahuasca times a day. A lot as well. hmm? They use it a lot with ayahuasca, yeah. they use a lot also when they're dieting in the forest. They use yeah, for, for the Hunikuin tradition, uh, they do not uh, drink ayahuasca alone. It's an inseparable thing to use hapé during the ayahuasca ceremony. They, they are treated as, as a one big thing. So we brought the hapé, some hapé and the tipi. Uh, because we're at a university, we probably won't be allowed to apply anybody, but we brought for you guys to at least smell or look at it and look at the tipi, which is the instrument that they use to blow onto the nose. Isso aqui não é para você cheirar, é só para vocês conhecerem aqui. Não, que, é, é, pode, cheirar. pode cheirar, mas toma cuidado que né, pode, pode fazer uma viagem. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, just be careful not to try to smell it and then, you know, uh, engage into some kind of treatment journey. Não, isso aqui é o tipi principal, é, o rapé vem aqui. É, para os dois narizes, né? Na tradição tem que usar para os dois narizes. É isso aqui, alguém que vai soprar, é só uma demonstração aqui. É... Just a demonstration. Não melhor você soprar. Sobre normal, não sobre normal. So this is the TP, that's the, the tool that is used to blow the hapé. Uh, they always do it in both nostrils. It's a tradition. You don't do it in just one of them. And uh, it's very important also because uh, the person who's blowing the, the hapé is also, you, you are dealing with spirits here. So you have, uh, you know, it's a, a relationship of trust. You, you're not going to ask for anyone to go and, can you do it for me? At it's, any moment. Yeah, it's, it's a connection, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a ceremonial thing. It's a connection between two persons and the spirit world when you blow hapé into someone's nostril. And you just go and, 
after they update this. É assim que eu uso na nossa tradição. Um, the hafe, like like the other plants, is also considered as a spirit plant. So they, the the relation that they have with removing the tobacco and preparing is very connected, and has they have chance to work as they have chance with the ayahuasca as well. Tem sopros, né? Tem sopros. Tem três sopros. Pode já reclamar que não tem três sopros, mas é o é o Então, o um primeiro sopro suave, um, gentil, uh, sopro médio, o sopro, último sopro é sopro de estourar, uh, de acordar There is the gentle blow, the medium, and the blow that will we'll break over the head. <laughs> <laughs> But the blow makes all the difference. I've had different ethnic types blow up into my nose. And it's there. It's like there's different quality of energy, and it'll bring you different insights as well. This is very important because I think there is this very um, strong, uh, popular now spreading use of, of uh, what we call empowerment plants, these sacred plants. And there's always these questions on: Can we brew it in the kitchen? Uh, you know, or we're extracting this, and we're now smoking. And in my understanding. And in the understanding of the Huni Queen, because we're we're talking about spiritual beings that have a, a, a an organized knowledge, and that when we put them into our bodies, they, with their wisdom, are going to guide us through the particular process that we're needing to open up to. And uh, once you remove that from the sacred ritualistic process and the intentions and the ancestral chanting that is part of that whole package, you remove a part of the spirit of that plant. And I think not unsurprising, it's not surprising for me that I've, I hear people brewing and then not getting any effect or not understanding or participating in a proper ritual and then realizing that the dimensions that they're allowed to um, dive are completely different from the previous experiences that they've had. So that's I think is a very important element, the tradition and the ritualized uh, preparation and then respect and connection for the plant. I'll talk a little bit more uh, about that later. Então, falar agora sobre isso. Acabou? Acabou? É. Ah, this is Hapé preparing Bane Hapé. This is Bane preparing Hapé at our institute, one of our places. It's our, our, our sacred gazebo, Oka. And that's also... Chef. And then that's... Um, oh, oh, so fine, then. Eh? Blowing up and when they blowing up at the spirits, it looks like a spirit. And this is preparing the hap. Okay. And this is another medicine they use a lot as well. Kambo. Kambo também no no Brasil temos os trompano que divide por um ano vários tronco, né? Porque acho que não há, uh, o Chipio também fala um preocupando, né? Vários panos que uh, li, li, uh, li, uh, linguístico uh, usa a medicina do sapo que faz uma... Esse sapo um dia na vida já foi humano e ele se transformou no espírito sapo para continuar ajudar, ajudar curando uh, os... Uh, o seu povo, né? E hoje é, extraímos a, a medicina que é a sacreção do sapo para para quem está é, fazendo iniciação também, né? É, iniciação é, do, do batismo quando você tem 12 anos. Você espera um pouquinho. So uh, he's also saying that uh, they belong to this. Uh, there's like a linguistic a linguistic core. Uh, 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 which is broader than the, the Kashinawa ethnicity and goes even uh, into the Shipibo uh, Indians from the from Peru or, and, and many other ethnicities. And he's relating them all to the frog, the, the toad, which is, uh, according to their uh, myths, it was a human being before, 
and uh, it was uh, reborn as, as a frog to keep uh, helping us to uh, achieve the, the, the ancient wisdom. And they extract the medicine from the, the toad mucus? Yeah, from the skin. It's, they extract from the, the skin. mucus from the skin of the toad. I don't think it's a toad, I think it's a frog. Mm -hmm. but What's the difference? I don't know. There's a difference. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's called big tree frog. You can show that picture the, where the, the, they are extracted. The scientific name is Philomedusa bicolor. And this is how they extract. I know it sounds like terrible, but apparently they're, they try to be as gentle as possible and they just, they'll just take it from the skin. And, and then they, they, and and then they, they release, they the, release frog. the frog yeah, after back they again. extract the medicine. Can I ask him like this? Mas nós cachinamos no estranho, no jeito que ele está estranho. Isso é só um pouco. Você segura na mão. He, yeah. they, th so there's various different ethnic groups. They, the Kashinawa, will hold the the frog, the toad. Você segura assim, né? Não, é. Pode pôr na árvore, só segura a mão dele, é faz, sei lá. Tem que fazer ele ficar. Nós falamos com o sapo. O sapo vai soltar a nossa secreção e a gente vai extraindo só a secreção, depois a gente solta na massa. Mas o, o uso do, 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 desse, desse sapo também é para. É, nós usamos quando a gente está fazendo um ritual de iniciação da vida para adolescente para virar adulto, como os, os índios chavantes no Mato Grosso, como outros índios pororos e outras etnias no sudoeste, centro-oeste, faz a nossa vida de passagem é com esse sapinho, né, com outros é, complementares, né, que okay. faz. Uh, so uh, there are many ways of extracting uh, the secretion from from the frog. That's not uh, the way they do. They usually uh, they, they put the, the, the frog in a in the trunk of a tree, and they talk to the frog first, they ask permission to, to take the medicine, and uh, they use it especially in rites of passage between childhood and the adolescence. Né, quando eu tinha 12 anos, eu tinha que passar por esse processo de, é, de auto limpeza. É uma, para você ter, é, como falar, é, energia. Ah, porque você recebe energia do sapo para que você, é, o sapo pode, é, pode te proteger, né? trazer bastante energia. Pra, já tem energia quando você tem 12 até, até agora. Então o sapo é para proteger a sua vida, para você não ficar por aí perdido. É. So, uh, he, he had to go through this initiation at 12 years old. And uh, this substance, uh, it's, uh, it's used to energize the body. It's, uh, they summon the frogs uh, in their energetic field and uh, protection for, for all your life. That's why uh, in Brazil they refer to this uh, medicine as the frog vaccine, which is uh, it's not a, a very uh, uh, appropriate definition, but it makes sense in a way because it's kind of bringing immunization in a way that it's bringing you uh, energy and force. And uh, so uh, he didn't explain that, but I think it's necessary. The way that they use it, you burn uh, little uh, dots in, in, the, in the skin. It can be in the arms, usually in the with arms the, or in the legs. With a stick ball, with a yeah. with a with little stick. Line. Yeah, with a little stick, you, you burn like just a little, you know, just a little burn. And then you apply the, the, the frog secretion, it, you, you take it with a little uh, spatula, mm -hmm. like a little thing, and, and you apply it. So usually you don't, you don't do less than what, uh, five dots, or maybe three from five dots? No, three. Three, three dots. dots. You have three dots, yeah. So three, you, five, seven. It depends on, yeah, on how, uh, how strong or how uh, used to it you are. How? And uh, it takes a while, and, and it's really, really, really powerful, and, and it makes you vomit a lot. It and makes you vomit. Like you vomit like a yellow every uh, organ. Like yeah, it's clean, you know. Yeah, it's like a, it's, it's total cleansing, and, and it's very it electrifies the body. You can feel your body totally electric, and and it's so it's it's very painful, and but it, it gives you like this it's energizing uh, quality that lasts for a long time. Então, 
para passar para o ritual não é só safo, né? Você passa, eu passei é, por uma semana de preparação quando eu tinha 12 anos. É, e quem pode dançar com você, quem já passou, só passou. Quem não passou ainda não pode dançar com você. E assim é, eu fiquei é, uma semana. É, tem uma, uma casa apropriada onde os é, jovens vão se isolar. Uh, e as meninas também participam. Uh, so it's a very sacred uh, way to do it. You just don't go and take it. Uh, there's a preparation that lasts for a whole week, and then you're just allowed to dance with people that have already done it before. And uh, all the boys go to a special sacred house where they stay, and the girls participate as well. Onde que é o nispupimá? Nispupimá é uma planta que se batiza o dente, que o dente fica preto. And then you use a plant called Nishpupima uh, that you, you put it in uh, your teeth and, and they, they, they become darkened. And yeah. they paint their, their, themselves with Jinipapu and Urukum. Aí você dança dois dias. É, você só pode tomar um caissuma, um líquido. Okay. É, os adultos que já fizeram esse passagem dançam com você o dia inteiro. E você tem que dançar o dia inteiro por dois dias é, e à noite descansar. Dois dias. É. So, não importa se vai fazer sol, não importa se vai fazer chuva, você é o, é o seu rico de passagem. Uh -huh. So, uh, they, they, they are only allowed to drink uh, this... Uh, Como você fala mandioca? Uh, manioc, mm -hmm. cassava. Cassava, yeah, there's Some like a drink cassava. made of manioc, that, that's the only thing that you uh, actually uh, ingest in your body. And you dance for the whole day, all day long, until uh, the night. And uh, you dance with the adults that have already been initiated before. And you dance uh, non-stop for two days. You only stop to uh, sleep a little bit. And they dance you to exhaustion. And that's the, the initiation that you, you go uh, when you're about to become a teenager. Uh, 